David the Surf Skateboarder here and today we're going to continue talking about the Yao Legacy. I took my Yao Legacy to the local skate park recently and I had a fun session and I'll go ahead and show you some video of it. I found the Yao Legacy is lighter weight and it's more stable, so it enabled me to do a lot of these regular skateboard type tricks. I also noted that it does let me carve more deeply than my regular skateboard truck, and I can pump it better than my regular skateboard truck. Now I'm going to tell you what I don't like about the Yao Legacy truck. When compared to surf skate trucks like the Carver CX and the Yao Meraki, the Yao Legacy does not have a lot of carve or lean or pumpability and the turn radius is much wider. In short, what I'm saying is in my opinion, the Yao Legacy truck is just not a surf skate, which to me makes sense because Yao doesn't even call it a surf skate truck, they call it a surf cruiser. But even as a surf cruiser, in terms of the way it feels with the stock bushings, I just find that the turn and the lean on this is not very responsive. I have to put all my weight on the rail to get it to start getting a deeper carve. Which to me, it's just not a very fluid feeling and I don't particularly enjoy it. I can't imagine that this was intentional on Yao's part because whenever I go and do a skateboard trick, sometimes my weight lands a little bit off center. And because the truck does not turn unless I put a lot of weight on the rail, that means that I'll continue going straight if I land a little bit off balance and so it'll be easier to control skateboard type maneuvers. But if you're someone who really enjoys surf skates and you really like that carve and responsive deep lean, I think you're going to find the Yao Legacy feels very stiff, it doesn't feel very responsive, it doesn't carve very deep. And numerically, if I had to categorize like a skateboard as a one in terms of carve, pumpability, and deep lean, and my Carver CX as a 10, I would honestly give my Yao Legacy about a 2.5 or a 3. I mean, it's much closer to a skateboard truck, in my opinion, than a surf skate. So for me personally, I probably won't be riding the Yao Legacy truck anymore. It's just not a very fun, fluid feeling to me. And if I wanted to do more regular skateboard tricks, I would just do them on my regular skateboard truck because I find that they're lighter weight, lower to the ground, more stable, and more suited for doing regular skateboard tricks. I hope you enjoyed this video. Feel free to leave a comment. I'd love to read other people's opinions on the Yao Legacy truck. And if you're enjoying these videos, even just a little bit, and you want to make a difference in the world of surf skating, go ahead and hit that like button, or don't. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope to see you soon. Cheers!